Good morning. Happy Monday to you guys. I hope you're having a terrific day. Um, devotion. Um, today is about the shepherds. It's not really serving to serve only those who can serve us in return. The shepherds, shepherds were the lowest of the low class. In fact, shepherds were deemed so untrustworthy by society, they could not even serve as a witness in court. Wow, did you know that? I didn't know that. So if angels were going to appear to announce the birth of the Savior, why would God choose to send them to untrustworthy shepherds? Wouldn't a group of priests seem logically like a better choice? But purpose trumps logic. From the very beginning, Jesus came to save that which was lost, Matthew 18, 11. Seriously, it's just so exciting to serve a God who is intentional in the details. First, the shepherds ran to Jesus. Then they shared with others what they had experienced, and people paid attention. There must have been a drastic difference in these outcasts of society after they encountered Jesus. The Christian life is inconvenient, full of detours, and rarely simple. In fact, Dave Early's definition of ministry is my favorite. He says, ministry is getting dirty to make others clean. In other words, genuine service is rooted in what we do for others, not what others can do for us. So let's ask ourselves this. What have I done lately that serves another where I did not get anything in return? After all, it's not really serving to serve only those who can serve us in return. Just as the lives of those shepherds changed forever that night, we have the same opportunity with those whom God puts in our path to serve. As Christ followers, we have the opportunity to be radically different in the work world. Let everyone else boast in their paychecks, fancy lifestyles, and crazy accomplishments. We get to show up every day and serve the one true God. Let's meet, be more about what we give than what we get. God, you came, in to, you came to seek and to save those who were lost and to help us to do the same. It's so easy to get caught up in the business way of life. But God, protect us from that. Give us your eyes to see those who need you and your heart to serve them. Use us as your hands and feet. We love you. Amen. I hope this has helped somebody today and spoke to somebody's heart. I know it woke me up a little. And this was coming from the 10 days of Christmas truths. I think I have one more day of this. Um, I'm not sure, but I think tomorrow might be the last day of this devotion. But God bless you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, let's try to serve someone. And if you're a mother, you probably are thinking, I serve people every day, all day. And you are right. You do. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.